Hello everyone, so today I'm going to review my and other stories blushers so these are like part two of my and other stories blush i did review i did have a review uh, before with their blushers but these are two shades are new newer shades and one is like the part of the original collection so if you want to see these blushers and my review so yeah please keep on watching so now we will apply this blush for today so this is the stockinette stockinette beige i hope i'm saying that right so i like that they really have a like secure tape here so i know no one opened it and tested it or something like that so i'll apply like my other reviews or like my other um colors or the shades of this i'll use this as a as an eyeshadow so this is the older batch or like older shades from them because the the like the coat imprinted or embossed on it is like the original one the other two has different wordings oh i thought it would be like i will not even i thought this would be too light but it's really pigmented compared to the other two. Oh, I like this it blends so nicely for an eyeshadow so what I noticed now I will do like monochromatic look with my eyeshadows uh, if I think I can use them as an eyeshadow because they're matte I like to use them as well if you like so you see if you want a monochromatic look if you can apply this as, as, as an eyeshadow so compared to the other two this is so pigmented i'm so amazed it's like i only need two swipes and that's it the other one it was a bit a struggle so probably the other like the newer version is a bit not that pigmented so i like this formula more on the lower lash I really like the formula of this. So this is how it looks after. I'll just, I think, apply an eyeliner, mascara, and I'll apply this later as a blush. So I'll just finish my eyes. So now my eyes is done. So we will apply the blush now. So I will use my MAC brush. So I this is a new brush. Why is it just this is a new blush brush that I got just because my real technique doesn't perform as good as before like it's the center part is getting stiff already so I try to apply it like this I like this brush because I can I am I, I need to apply my brush very gently because the other one I just like drag it like that but because this is like a thin kind of brush i need to like almost tap only the application which is good for my skin than dragging it so mm, this is really a nice color my god i really regret i didn't buy this before because i thought it looks so light on the pan but when you apply it my god it's really pretty this would be my go-to blush i think because it's not so opaque i don't tap it anymore on my finger because i know it will be not it will not be too much when i applied it the other shade because it looks darker i i didn't want like i might over apply it so compared to that one it's really a pretty 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 shade it's sad because online it's like out of stock but in stores there are a lot there are like a lot of stock so if you see online it's out of stock in stores you will get uh there's a lot of stocks especially here in ghent i'm not sure in other countries but yeah this shade is out of stock online so i'll just yeah if you compare it here just really a nice nude shade i really love this so i'll just finish my other side So this is how it looks. It's really pretty. I'll just put my 
um, lipstick and I'll be back it's really a pretty shade so this is how the blush looks it's really pretty pretty shade I'm I now regret not buying this right away because I thought it would be too light it's just really a perfect nude shade I paired it with a lipstick that I know would really look good on this like brownish uh, beige kind of um, look so this is the Maybelline the powder mats in the shade toasted brown I'm not sure if it's still available maybe in the US only in Asia but here I know this is not available here in Europe so this is really a pretty shade and yeah I love how it looks so the next shade is terracotta riot so as what the name says it's a terracotta shade which I'm always or I'm more into or what I really like to use use so this is not as opaque as the stuck in it page i need to reapply or layer it a lot of times because i still didn't achieve or doesn't look like how i wanted it to be so this is how it looks after i applied on both eyes and then i applied it with a different brush so this is much more stiffer brush from elf so also with this i needed to layer it because it's more like a satin finish it's not that opaque compared to the stuck in it beige so i need to layer it a couple of times to achieve like the pigmentation that i normally like so this is how it looks on both cheeks and eyes when uh, done after my application it's really a pretty pretty shade so after eight hours this is how it looks it's not that long lasting compared to the other shade and the next one is prayer priory bold i'm not sure if i'm saying that right so like the terracotta shade it's also not that pigmented i needed to reapply it a lot of times because it's not that yeah the pigmentation is not that good and i also apply it under my lower lash line just to make the look more cohesive and normally i do that and with this shade i use the mac blush because it looks like a bit pigmented i try to tap it first before applying on my cheek spot uh, it's still not that opaque i could just apply it right away and don't tap the excess but I just did it just in case because it's harder to fix it when it's too much on the cheeks so this is also this is much more like a brownish red kind of shade uh, this is also what I like like natural like almost bronzy looking shade which is really complementing and just looks natural on my face and then I reapplied it also a couple of times because it's not that pigmented as well like a satin finish so yeah it, I really like this kind of look and also yeah it really looks good like for everyday wear so yeah those were my swatches with my and other stories blushers this is like a part two of my and other stories blush so uh, two are newer shades and one it's an old shade from their like original collection so for the description of this blusher so this soft powder blush has a silky matte finish designed to add a healthy looking wash of color to the cheeks which i agree with a buildable high, highly pigmented formula you can choose between a more natural or high intensity coverage they are made in italy and so here they said they have one two three four five six seven seven um, available blushers but i think um they have more in stores i think if i'm not mistaken i or i could be wrong but a lot of shades are not available online and i did review about them like the first three shades that i got i will link it here so you will see the other shades if you're interested to see the other colors that i reviewed and yeah i really love the packaging of this it's like a clear packaging it's like you know like i noticed with that and other stories shops even their clothes and everything um with their brand like this mini minimalistic chic that's what i noticed and that's why i'm drawn to them it's i think my age appropriate kind of store it's not useful because i'm in 30s already um there there's some playful but more like like my style like minimalistic um yeah i'm not i'm i'm not really chic but i try to be but yeah i really love their aesthetic that's why i love shopping there and yeah with this older or like the original um blusher so they have i really love the detail as well like with um embossed saying so go girl seek happy happy nights to happy days so this is how, how it looks so it's really unique for me and the other newer shades 
it says here live life in roaring color so this is how this just less and hmm, I don't really smell anything from them and they don't really have a kickback a bit but not really much so no almost I don't think I, ha I ever have a kickback with this so I gave away the other older shades of mine because I have too many blushes that time and I, I don't think I would I have the I have the time to finish everything so but I think with this I think I will keep them because I do love their shades but my favorite certainly my top pick is this stuck in it beige so yeah these are the three shades I love their just how simple it is and you see right away when you want to pick a shade so yeah I really noticed that the newer shades are a bit not as opaque as the first one because when I apply this first shade like the the older shades it's really like opaque I only need a few like wipes I did struggle with the other shades I felt like they're not easy or like they're not so they didn't blend good on my on my eyelids like there's like an area that it was not filled good I needed to like use another brush to make it feel especially near my lashes it was like almost like it was not blending good there so I needed to reapply it again but the first shade is really good I really love the succulent beige and it's my favorite shade as well but the quality is good I noticed the first two shades uh, during the night they are faded significantly I will still see later how this would look and I will update in my blog post if it's also not as long lasting as the other two but yeah so far this shade is really beautiful I highly recommend it and the other two shades are also great as well if you like that kind of terracotta kind of shade. So yeah, I hope this video was helpful for you. If you have any questions, please do let me know and I will try to get back to you as soon as I can. And if you find this video helpful, please give this a thumbs up. It will help my channel a lot with the YouTube algorithm. And if you could consider subscribing to my channel, it will mean so much to me. So if you have any requests, please do let me know and I will try to make it possible for you. And I will post a blog post about this as well so you will see more photos and information. I will link it in my description box if ever I'm able to publish it already. So yeah, thank you for watching and I hope I see you in the next one. Bye!